Hello, party people. I'm Aisha Roll Reviews, and welcome to my channel. If you like subscription box unboxings and beauty unbaggings and tea hauls and pens and planners and wax and you're into stuff like that and when I be feeling brave because I still get clothing subscriptions, but I'm not that comfortable with tr trying it on on camera and all the fuss, but I can show it to you on, on Hanga. I'm so, I play so much then. Consider subscribing to the channel and definitely like this video. This video, I'm going to show you a couple of th more things I picked up from Target. This is a continuation. You need to be part two of my uh, video I just recorded, which was predominantly Aldi with a little bit of Target popping in there. And yeah, so it was and a little bit of Amazon. So it was a little bit, mostly Aldi, a little of Target and some um, Amazon purchases that I picked up this week today and that's been delivered in the last couple of days. So this video, I'm going to share with you three or four things I got from Costco's. One thing I got, well, I got a lot of stuff from Ulta, but today, one thing I got from Ulta and a couple of Costco's and we're going to finish it off with um, what I picked up today from Trader Joe's. So bear with me. I'm going to try to keep it short and condense this into about a 15 minute um, window of time. So we're not here all day. So let me jump into it. First things first is I picked up some of the Target A New Day line. I do like it. The A New Day, if you remember to take it off before showering or perfumes or things like that, it do tend to hold before tarnishing. And this is a stack green set. And so, yeah, it looks like that. Um, somebody, you know, Target, bruv, you see that price? I'm like, dude, you, you really, you get, you're getting up there. You're getting up there, sirs. So, um, but I do like the A New Day. I'm actually wearing a pair of A New Day earrings that I picked up when I was in South Dakota. And so, but they were not 20 bucks. No, I play so much. Y'all bear with me. And then this is another A New Day set. And I just really like this because... If I was to ever get married, this is simu similar, not spot on to the type of, um, obviously, real diamond um, type of ring uh, bridal set that I would want. So, I was like, you know what? Why not? Why not play around with just seeing how that would look? And, and I, I just liked it. And I was like, it's ironic. I don't normally, I don't go out my way searching for uh, a bridal set dupe or anything like that but it was only like three on the shelf and i seen it and i was like this is very very close i want mine to be a little bit more square but it's and i would want it to have pink a pink um hues in the diamond you, you hear it don't you who knows if i ever get married but in the meantime i got this and it was 20 I was like, Target, get yourself together. This was from the Target Dollar Spot. And this mug, I love it. It's, it looks like it can hold quite a bit. It's a nice, soft, very soft blush pink with a very beautiful bisque color. And um, the font in the writing, the script is nice. But the font said, uh, the phrasing says, do it for you and not for them. And just sip your tea on that. You can tell when I got energy. And I, I'm not having a stressful day. So this is how I behave. Um, but this was $3. And let me see if it tells me how many ounces. No. But it's dishwasher safe and microwavable safe, which is highly important. And if you watch the other video, you'll see another item I bought. That this item goes with very well. And no, I'm not going to tell you. You go watch that video. I'll put the link in the description box to save you any extra work. I saw this in the dollar spot as well. This was one buck. And this is some toilet seat covers. I probably still won't sit on the seat. But I just bought it in hopes. In hopes. Maybe for like the relative houses. Because I squat there too. Um... But yeah, I'll probably use it more so there than a public place. I'm just not sitting down. It's just not happening. And then um, 
but I thought it would be good to have in your purse or in a travel bag. And then I picked this up. These are some chalk mark markers in white, non-toxic. Works on chalkboards and erase erasable with the wet cloth. So I picked up this a set of two, and this was one dollar. My pen, folks, I'm coming for you. I'm kind of stacking up on some pens to do a pen haul. It's it's coming up, but I, I had to break into this. There's a black one that was like a set of six, and I've already, nobody asked me to, but I had to. And so, look at the neon colors. So, Target's having a good pen sale, y'all. If you, if anybody from the pen community is watching this, go there. Go. Run for us. Costco's. This was on sale. This is High Sierra. And this is like a food jar, double wall stainless steel, um, integrated folding stainless steel um, spork. So it looked like it's like a, a, a spoon and a fork. And you can see this whole setup right here. And then let me flip it around. This was 13 bucks. And let's see, foldable fork, spork. Let me get it right. Conveniently fits inside of the lid. Then you have a steam release button on the um, lid. At the bottom, it says. And then it's a leak proof um, stainless steel lid. Keeps drinks at a perfectly uh, temperature of hot and cold. And then it's a double wall stainless steel, as I indicated before. Hot things, it will keep it hot for you. For, I'm all up in the camera. For 12 hours and cold things, it'll keep it cold for you for 24 I don't know what Winnebago I'm going to get. That's You know, that's one of my little dreams. Me and my dreams, man. I just want to get one and just roll, roll through the good old U.S. Just pimping. Boom, boom, boom. Me and my dog. I'm going to get me a dog and just me and him, we roll. Mm, mm, mm. And I thought something like this would be cool. But yeah, just any road trips, anything where you're going to be somewhere at length, work, you want to bring your own festival. Um, we're going to start having more outside concerts that's starting to come up. You want to wear your mask and bring your own food so you're not charged up the animals. You know what I want to say? Then you got that. Let me move on. And I thought that was a good price. The High Sierra is, is a reputable brand and it's got a good reputation. So I paid, what, 14 bucks. I paid $7 per um, food jar. And as you saw on the packaging... The lid can be used for one type of food and then you got in the inside can be for something else if you want to do it like so you can split the lid and the, the actual container, uh, the jar apart. And then the jar was wide mouth, very wide opening to really get some soup or some chili or something in there. And I really like that. The, the little spork come with it as well. Then we have, yeah, this was marked down with the asterisk meaning it's fixed, it was going to go away. And I was glad that it was there because I've went into uh, Costco's about four times and just, I don't know. But I do bake from time to time when I'm in a Zen place. And I do like baking when I can just be in a place to do so. And one of the things I noticed when I was baking up in Sioux Falls is I really didn't have a, a, a wire rack or resting rack uh specifically for bake, my baking goods. So I picked this up. This was a set of two. Let me turn it this way. And this was $6.97. So what? Three bucks. Three, a little less than three fifty dollars each. And so that's from Costco's. Let me show you. I went to Alta. So just in case anybody ever, I get my eyebrows done today. I have to go in and fill them in. So when you see them a bit more defined, that's me with the brow pencil. But just the waxing and getting the basic shape of it done. I go into Alta, I book my appointment through the app. But today I thought for the price that I would try getting their individual lashes. 15 bucks, y'all. Um, now, they won't last like a month or three weeks like the lash extensions that typically cost $150. we are just throwing this into the video. Hey, it's... Rolls, rolls, throw it in here. 
because some woman out there might want to know. And, or, or guy, he might want, hey, do tail roll, $15, what you talking about? This, so let me turn this way. And you can pick between the, you get some lash, and you can do half or full lashes. And the booking time is appropriate for how long it took her to do this. Um, you get some options once you go in, you pick in, pick out what you want. You could take a photo of what you're looking to accomplish, the style. But I just kind of described it because Marissa's been doing my eyebrows now for eight months. She's so familiar with me. And she, so I just said, we're going to work with my natural eye shape and go in like that. So I just thought I'd throw that in there. You know, um, I'll probably get like a week. I can come back and comment on that a bit more specific, how long it lasted. But I do like it. I don't feel like she took forever in a day and she achieved the look that I was going for. You can have it way lighter. You could take choose a different lash des design like the lash type you can choose a different one different brand and etc so you got some options folks inside that $15 so I got some stuff from Ross you know I did pick up a couple of other things from Target but we're going to stop here I'm going to take you over to the table so you can see the Trader Joe's and that's about it if I kind of got my mind on going to get a couple of sundresses I saw that'll fit my love, all of this ness right now. So if I end up doing that, then I'll just, the items I'm looking at right now from um, Target, I'll just make a dedicate. I'm going to try who, if the date, that day permits a dedicated Target video because I've been getting into stuff and I had a huge haul from Ross. But let me show you and go to the table. Be right back. Oh, and before I forget, I pop, bought this today from Alta. I did say I was going to do something from Alta in this video, but this is Schlankton. Now, I haven't had this guy's candle in probably almost nine or ten years. I only had it once. I got it from QVC. So when I seen this at um, Alta today, they had very big, big ones but they had about four different scents. And I went with this Butter Cookie Crunch um, Homework Candle. And this candle is 14 ounces. It's got an average of 30 to 40 hours on the burn. And the scent notes is Tahitian Vanilla, Brown Sugar, do you hear this? Praline and Shortbread. Just when you pop the lid. Oh my God. Incredible. Pray for me that this throws well. Okay, so here's the Trader Joe's haul for today. I picked up four of the um, Barbell's white chocolate almond protein bars. I picked up one of the Cliff uh, Builder protein bars. Now they had different kinds of Cliff bars. But I went with this type of Cliff Bar, and this is supposed to have 20 grams of protein. I've had this one before; it is delicious. Um, I don't. I'm. Um, I've had this, but it's been a while. But I'm almost positive I do like it. Mm -hmm. So I seen this at the register. This was 95 cent, and so I picked this up. This is a caramel milk chocolate filled little bar. I haven't seen these before. I thought these looked it like something um, the family would like. And this is some Tangy Turtles Tart and Sweet Gummy Candies. The JoJo's Little uh, Sandwich Cookies and Vanilla. The Scandinavian Swimmers. These are just a different, um, their version, you know, gummy, like gummy bears. I picked up the Trader Joe's Peppermint and Tea Tree Shampoo Bar. And this is with coconut and olive and jojoba oils. It's a four ounce bar. And it is very medium to almost loud on the scent. You definitely pick up uh, the peppermint. And the peppermint smells very similar to Dr. Bronner's. Some pasture-raised eggs. I also picked up an organic gallon of milk, but that's in the refrigerator. One of the pink salt crystals. One hand sanitizer in lavender. A vegan banana bread with walnuts. 
and I hadn't seen this before. And yes, I do know how to make my own banana bread, but sometimes people don't always want to do it. And I see the funky natural flavors and stuff. So no, this wouldn't be a Barbie approved. You got unbleached bread and all of that. But um, I seen it. I wanted to give it a try. So I will. Um, this is one I hadn't seen before. And the bread is just oh so soft. Oh, oh so soft. And this is a slice of French brioche bread, buttery, moist, and perfectly French. A classic sliced loaf, sliced loaf made for us in France by a bakery who really knows their brioche. It's very moist and buttery and slightly sweet. Wonderfully, un wonderful untoasted, sublime for cinnamon toast and perfect for French toast. Your creativity is the limit with how you can enjoy now i just feel like this would make nice in a bread pudding an old southern bread pudding give me a star something no, let me not say that but just high five on that one um i picked up two different cards um art are you sweet orange you sweet and then if you ever want to know what it says look on the back and toward the middle end it'll tell you what the inside phrasing is to save you from like, you know, taking it out of the protective sleeve. And this one was thank you on the front. And then on the back, when the person open it up, it'll say, you are blooming fantastic. I picked up some French, uh, some lavender, fresh lavender. So I'm gonna just trim the ends and then pop it in my little vase in my womb. And then I picked up a fresh bouquet of other flowers that I also got to trim and get in some water so they don't die. But so pretty. That was $6.99. And then some yellow onions. So like I said in the other video before this one, go check out my Instagram. I did um, take a photo of one of my last, second to last shopping trips over at Trader Joe's. And I took a photo of some of the more unique or seasonal or limited edition type items that they have uh, come in. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like the video. Consider subscribing to the channel and have yourself a blessed day. Peace.